In this video, I'll show you how to make these three super trendy PowerPoint effects for your next presentation. They're very easy to create, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the first one, which is the neon effect. And I just changed the background color of the slide to black and then click on insert and then icons and you'll get this panel on the right hand side to search for an icon. And I'll insert this cute little pumpkin because it's almost Halloween, but obviously you can use whatever icon you like. And then let's right click on it and select format graphic to get this panel on the right hand side and here we're gonna get rid of the fill and select an outline so just click on solid line here you need to choose a light color so i'll go with this orange right here and then i'll just make it larger like this perfect if you feel like the line is too thin you can increase its width by changing the values over here and then we'll go to the effects panel which is this icon over here and then go to the glow option and here you can select one of the presets i'll go with this one you can decrease the transparency to make it brighter and you can simply repeat this process for any icons that you like with different colors as well the process is slightly different if you want to apply it to a text so you'll need to insert a text box i'll use this font called angel face and then i will increase the size by clicking on this icon right here and I'll change its color to a light blue but you can pick whatever light color that you like and then you're gonna right click on it and then click on format text effect make sure that on the panel on the right you are modifying the text options otherwise this effect is not going to work and then just select one of the presets from the glow panel and here you can increase its size or decrease the transparency to make it brighter and something very cool is that if you insert a line for example or another shape let's add a line over here and then select one of the icons that's already formatted with the effect go to home click on the format painter right here and then just apply it to your new shape and that way you can just speed up the process without having to do the effects all over again but of course you can change the colors individually by repeating the process so for the animation i'm gonna select all of the elements and then press ctrl d on my keyboard to duplicate them i'm going to group them temporarily so it's easier to work with them and then i'll just get them out of the way to the right hand side like this we need to create a turn up version of these neon signs that we did so first let's select all the icons and the shapes don't select Select the text and here we'll simply get rid of the effect so just click on the preset select no glow and then let's change the color of the outline to a dark gray i'll use this one okay perfect so now we need to repeat the process for the text boxes so just select them and then go to text options here we're gonna get rid of the glow by clicking on no glow and then change the color of the text to the same dark gray that we picked for the icons perfect so this will be the turn off version of our neon signs perfect so now we can bring back the turn on version of our neon signs let's ungroup them so right click on them click on group and then click on ungroup and now we can add our animation so just select one of the icons then click on animations let's go to the yellow animations click on the drop down and here you're gonna select blink this will literally just give us one blink which is not ideal so we'll go to the animations panel right here and let's click on the animation that's right here and then click on timing and let's change the start to with previous the animation is too slow so first i'll change it to 0.5 seconds and see how it looks and then let's change the repeat to three times so let's see how it looks like just by clicking on this icon and I think this is looking better, but it's still a little bit slow. So just click on it again. And here we're going to change the duration to 0 0.2 seconds. I think this will look better. So let's play it again. And yes, I think this looks perfect. OK, so to apply the animation to the rest of the elements, just select the icon that you've already applied the animation double click on the animation painter and then just click on every single element from your slide you can apply these to text boxes as well if you like and that's pretty much it this is what this slide looks like and i think it looks amazing let's move on to the second trending effect which is the scrapbook effect i have a slide with a circle and some text for the word happy i use this font called acumen pro and for the word halloween i'm using this font called angel face and i'll insert some images that i got from adobe stock images i think these ones will look super cute for our halloween theme slides and i'll just move out of the way the images that i won't use at the moment so let's start with the ghost right here and we'll create some sort of cutout effect so i'll just make this image larger and then click on shapes right here 
Next, let's select the polygon shape over here. And let's just go around the silhouette of our image like this. Remember that this doesn't need to look perfect. It actually needs to be a little bit like you were cutting it with scissors, for example. You can use any image that you like and you can even leave a little bit of the background like this. So we're going to close the shape. And next, by holding down the shift key on your keyboard, you're going to select the image first and then the shape. Let's go to merge shapes and here you're going to select intersect. Amazing. And now just to make it pop, we're going to right click on the image and then click on format picture. On the right hand side from the format picture panel, go to the effects options and add a shadow. And increase the distance slightly and also decrease the transparency to 1%. So we have something like this. And that's pretty much how you get this cutout effect for any image that you like. So I repeated the process for the rest of my images. And now I'm going to add some shadows to my text boxes. So right click on your text, click on format text effects. And here you're just going to select a shadow. I will decrease the transparency. I'll also decrease the blur and decrease the distance like this. And now it's time to move on to the animation so i will select one of the images and click on animations let's go to the drop down on the yellow options and here you're gonna select teeter i want this animation to play continuously so just select your image then click on animation pane and select your animation and then you're gonna change the timing to start with previews and then let's change the repeat until the end of slide to apply the animation to the rest of the elements, just select the image with the animation, double click on the animation painter and just apply it to all of your elements in your slide like this. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make this cool scrapbook effect using only PowerPoint. Now the third effect is the liquid glass effect or glass morphic effect. And let's start by adding an image. I created this one using ChatGPT because I couldn't find anything similar on any stock image website. So first let's right click on the image and click on format picture and on the image panel let's go to picture corrections and decrease the brightness slightly and then you're gonna duplicate the image with ctrl d and put it in the exact same position as the other one. Let's click on the image icon again and for this one we're gonna increase the brightness. Next, let's click on the effects icon, which is this one right here and go to the artistic effects. Here, just click on this icon and select the blur effect and then increase its radius slightly. Perfect. Now you go to picture format and then click on the drop down from crop, click on crop to shape and select the rounded rectangle. Next, click on the crop icon again. And here I'm just going to make everything smaller. Here you can crop it to whatever size that you like, but I'm going to leave it like this if you select it and then drag these yellow dots to the right you're gonna round the corners even more okay perfect so let's select this image and then we'll go to the paint bucket icon then click on line and let's add a gradient line we only need two handles so you can just select one of them click on the minus sign to get rid of them and on the left one i'm gonna change the color to white and for the handle on the right i'm just gonna increase the transparency to 100 now this already looks great but if you want to take it a step further just select the image then click on 3d format and here let's apply a top bevel and now we just need to change the values so i'll change the width to 20 points and i'll change the height to 10 points that way we just added some depth to this image and now it actually looks like glass if for some reason you're not getting this effect, it's maybe because you have the wrong material selected. So if you if you have the first one selected, you won't see the effect. But if you have the second one from the standard options, which is this one, that's a way that you can get this effect. OK, perfect. So now you can start adding your content to the slide. I'll just add a text box here in the middle of the slide like this. And for this one, I'll use the font Avenir Next LT Pro Lite. I will also add an icon from the icons library. I'll just look for a magnifying glass and I'll just place it on the right hand side like this and change the color to white. Now for the animation, we're going to duplicate the slide by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Let's go back to the previous slide. We're going to zoom out. And then we're going to click on this image, go to picture format, click on crop and let's move the crop frame to the left hand side outside of the slide like this. Let's also select the text and the icon and move it to the left hand side outside of the slide like this. 
And finally, let's apply our transition. So go to the second slide, click on transitions and click on morph. And that's it. Those are three of the trendiest PowerPoint effects this year. You can download these slides from my website. The link is in the description box of this video and I'll see you next time. Adios.